Hey, what's up guys? Earn the Worm here again with another action figure review. And this time we're going back in time to the Iron Man Mark V Revoltech figure. There is some of the different poses you can get on the back. I think this armor just looks great. I think this was one of the better selling armors that they've actually done by Revoltech. And on the bottom here it says, what are you waiting for? Open me up. So I'm going to get him out now. And most of the time when you first get your Revotech figures out of packaging, they have this plastic on all the joints. So luckily through the power of editing, I will now edit out the next 45 minutes of me removing all this plastic. Did I say 45 minutes? I meant 3 hours. And now I have the Revotech Mark V Iron Man out of packaging. We will have a look at the accessories and things he comes with first. And first and really cool accessory is this suitcase. Love this suitcase. I think they put a lot of nice detail in there. That metallic paint looks awesome on there. You get an Iron Man Mark V nameplate. You get a set of open palm hands. Look really good. And you get some Karate Chop Repulsor Blast hands. Whoosh! And you also get this Revotech V stand. Okay, and I actually own several Revoltech Iron Man armors, so now I'm just going to compare him side to side with some of the others. There he is next to the movie Revoltech Iron Man Mark I figure, and this is one of my favorite figures overall, period. Probably my favorite Iron Man figure. I think this Mark V is, is going to run a close second, but I really love that Mark I. I think they just absolutely nailed it. There he is next to the Revotech Iron Man Mark II. There he is next to the Revotech Iron Man Mark III. And there he is next to the Revotech Iron Man Mark VI. Sorry, I did not want to take all those blast effects off. So now to the figure itself. I absolutely love this figure. I think this is going to be up there with that Mark I, in my opinion, of my favorite Iron Man figures. And there's a reason that this figure has sold out on each release and then went for way more on secondary markets. It's because it's just an amazing figure. It looks fantastic. This was actually one of my favorite armors from the movies. I just that whole scene, the whole thing with the suitcase, it was just really awesome. Just what a great looking piece. It does have a few odd issues in it. One thing a lot of people can't get over is the Revoltech joints. I don't really mind them. Once you get used to working them, then I think you can get a lot of great poses with them. But some people just can't get past them. And on the feet, it is hard to get them to stand sometimes. And I do have some paint chips here on the back. Other than that, the paint is really well done. One separate little piece, though, I thought was really weird was this... Uh, I'm going to call it the hemorrhoid joint there. It's actually right on the inside of the leg, and I guess it's actually supposed to fold with your leg just so you don't leave a gap there. But it's kind of odd if you move it back and then it don't move with it. You're, you're left with a, a big hemorrhoid hanging out there, and that is on each side. I really like the slim head sculpt on this one. I think that looks really great. Articulation on this Iron Man figure, you know, it's not like a Marvel Legend figure. It's a little bit different with the Revotech joints. So everywhere there's articulation, it's actually a Revotech joint. And these are ratcheted joints, but you have one on the head there, and then there is actually another one down below the neck. There's one at the arm, and these will allow you to swivel as well on each joint. You have one at the elbow. The hand is actually on a really small one. You have two here on the midsection, one at the upper abs, and then one on the lower here. These legs actually rotate on another joint inside of there, but then you have the Revotech joint a little bit down, which the legs move on. Uh, his hemorrhoids are actually on a small Revotech joint. One at the knees there, and you can see how good of a bend you get on that Revotech joint on that knee. Ratcheted Revotech joint there on the foot. And then he does have some toe articulation as well. 
So other than a little bit of annoyance getting them to stand every now and then, I really like the articulation on these Revoltech figures. But now I'm going to get a few poses out of this Iron Man. So that's my look at the legacy of Revoltech Iron Man Mark V action figure. I'm so glad I picked this up and glad I found it near retail because a lot of places are wanting like $120 for this now. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's all I got for this one. Have a good one guys. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.